Weil well, very traditional characteristic for me in Chinese is respect. Respect the others, respect also your tradition, which is very important. Okay, my name is Hans, Hans Dickert. I'm from Germany, to be more precise, from Bavaria, so south part of Germany. And I've been in Hong Kong now for 27 years. My first impression Hong Kong was 1991, it was the first time I came to Hong Kong on holiday for two weeks and I liked it from the first moment I came in. You can go around, it's easy to go around, the commute, and Hong Kong has everything. You have city, and you have landscape, you have countryside, you have everything, so you can do anything what you want. And of course the food. I like Chinese food and also you can have any kind of food. Whatever you want, you find it. You can go expensive, you can go cheap. It doesn't matter. You have everything. This is what I liked in Hong Kong. Yeah, my favorite thing about Hong Kong, as I said, is uh, cosmopolitan, a different nation, international, safe, and yes, very little racism. Yeah, there exists racism, and you can go around, as I said, it can be whatever, it can be Muslim, it can be Christian, whatever, it doesn't matter. Skin color, it doesn't matter. You can go around, I go out in shorts, I go out in a suit, I go in a bar, no problem, nobody cares. You're just one of them. And this is what I liked. Hong Fu I contacted a couple years ago when my wife, her NGO, OWS, started to promote Hong Fu and Chinese culture. There are 56 races in China and Han is one of them and the biggest race in, our, in China. So the Han went through all the dynasties. I go through. I watched uh, movies, documentaries, yes, it's interesting. Well, when I started Han Fu with, uh, with my wife and this organization, so there were also some friends of us that let's all join us for Han Fu show or went for the park in Mei Fu. It was impressive how the people reacted when we went on the stage dressed up in Han Fu said, wow, the Western also, they know Han Fu, they wear it, and I feel impressive, it's good. Hans, now is the testing time <laughs> for your handful knowledge. So, um, what do you think about this this handful? What is this? The good thing is I choose it by myself because I choose the color. I like it. <laughs> so these are different dynasties. So this one is Tang Dynasty. You can see is Y cross. So this we will play as the Silk Road. Yes. Why? Why we play as the Silk Road? Because Silk Road is like uh, where East meets West. Well, very traditional characteristic for me in Chinese is respect. Respect the others, respect also your tradition, which is very important. As I said, never forget your roots, where you're from, where you came from, is very important. And then as well, as, it's not only clothing, it's like it's a food, it's a behavior, it's how you act with the people. Be friendly and respectful. I'm from Patricia. We have a lederhosen and the ladies wear a bindle. It's very traditional. You can see it any time. If a beer fest, you can see people going around. It's not a costume for me, it's tradition. But when we're wearing this, of course, my wife also would like to join in in my tradition. So she's wearing a bindle and I wear a handful. So you have to compromise and you have to accept each other. This is respect. So it's a taking and a giving and it's a sharing. And I think it's good. Because we know uh, that this traditional Germany clothing and this uh, Chinese. This is traditional Bavarian clothing. Bavarian clothes. Yes. So, what's the similarity and difference between these two? Okay, similarity, first of all, the clothing, which this one you see here is like, mm -hmm. we call it a, a farmer shirt. Yeah. So, the cutting is very loose. Mm -hmm. So, it's really comfy, you do hard work. Mm -hmm. It's loose and it only goes up to here. So, the similarity is very close to Chinese clothing mm -hmm. and it's comfy, easy fit. Comfortable and also the fabric. Mm -hmm. It's traditional fabric you can get anywhere. Fabric. Well, uh, Hong Fu already getting now more and more recognized. Because you can see in a couple of years, you can see people going around in Hong Fu, like we did with the organization, Shirley OWS, of the Chinese New Year. We're going around and people are astonished. Oh, wow, it's so nice. And more and more weight. And once it's modified, so we adopt to the time you live in. So there you can see the elements of the of the Han Fu everywhere. Even you have this done with uh, big brands. Uh, 
Hans, please introduce some of your Han food. Well, it's not my Han food, it's my Han food, my wife. So, <laughs> so here we have yeah. it's a modified version. You can see everywhere comes the influence of fashion, also from China. Yeah. So this is from Han Fu. Yeah. Okay, this one, yes, this is for me. It's also modified, so it can be formal. Yeah. And this one is a very formal one, mm -hmm. mainly for richer families or higher level. What are This is also Ming. Ming, Ming. And you can have it, you can have your cover, a vest. Yeah. So you have a layer inside mm. and a vest outside, so it's very elegant. I wear Chinese style with a standing up collar and I feel good with it because I live so many years in Hong Kong, I'm part of it, so Hong Kong is also my home. Well, the things we are doing is uh, Chinese culture. We have these Han Fu shows where my wife is giving uh, calligraphy classes. So we had an, a, the OWS was also doing a joint with uh, archery. Chinese archery, then he's doing tea, tea classes, so everything, getting people together, she's wearing Han Fu, we have a lot of Han Fu here, so people can try Han Fu, making pictures, so this kind of event she's doing, yes. Well, the purpose again is comes tradition and don't forget your roots. So I will stay in Hong Kong, I will not go back, I will not give up on Hong Kong. We know how Hong Kong is, so slowly is the economy in Hong Kong coming back. But it takes time, time change, and we have to go with the flow again. But be optimistic and become again international. That's important. Hong Kong must be international. <laughs>